PTC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 16 Part 2. In this section we will cover doing the ECO. We're going to actually take our original model here and save it under a different name and then close this out and open up the copied part. Now the reason for doing that is because what we really want to do is have the same helix, but we're going to do a different, I'm going to bring up the ECO drawing, but we're not going to have, and I'll put up the part, but we're not going to have the ground ends. So basically the first feature here is the same. So all we do is delete the ground ends on the new named part and then continue on. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting some hook ends in and doing some sweeps. And we'll start with a sweep over here on this side, this sweep here. So I'm going to roll the model back to that point. Just take a look at that sweep and nothing else. There it is. And if I go in and edit the definition of it, it's going to, I'm going to be showing some old uh, dialog boxes. Yours will have the new interface. So don't be concerned with seeing this at this particular point. So the trajectory here, just want to see it, is going to be starting here and coming around. Everybody gets a little obsessed with trying to find the middle of this, so you don't have to do that. All right, so what we'll do is we will roll it back to just the first helical sweep. Go into standard orientation so everybody looks it looks the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to be wanting to start at this point down here and go around. So we're going to be working with the smaller pitch diameter in this this area here. Okay. Click on the sweep command, and we're going to have to create a trajectory. If you look under here, it's looking for a trajectory. So we'll create one with the sketch tool. And in this case here, we're going to sketch on this plane. And for this side and the other side, we're going to do the exact same. So a sketch, I'll go into my sketch view. I'm looking at it from the opposite direction. If I want to, I could flip it like so, make it a little easier to see. And what we're going to do is use the center ends and start here and go to the center point and then all the way over don't worry about where it's going to go to it's just a half circle and this is going to be 30 so 30 will position it correctly so don't worry about anything else that's all you're doing is putting in that arc So now I'm going to complete the sketch, resume, and you can see my arrow is in the wrong spot. So if I click on it, it'll go over to this side. It won't work if you have it over here, so you have to be attached to the geometry. Next, we're going to go into our section, section tool, and I'll go into my 2D here, and you'll see that it's centered on here. And what we want to do is we want to go and use the project loop, select the surface here, close it. You can see it's shade, so it's a proper section. Right mouse button, OK, and it will create the sweep. Now, for some reason, some people actually have a difficult time getting this to work. Um, we've seen it before. I'm not sure what the reason is. But let's go back into our sketch and do it a little bit different. So I'll delete this sketch out. So if that first way doesn't work as far as using project, then let's just you create, use the edge for the references and then put a circle in instead. And it should work. So either method.
All right, so we have the first sweep. Now we need another one, and it's going to be. This is interesting. This didn't bring up the proper one here. I'll go over to my drawing instead. So basically, we're going to put another hook in here. We're going to extend it. So from here, we're going to come out and up in this direction. So we're going to sketch our trajectory on datum B here. So sweep. And let's go ahead and create our trajectory. Let's sketch on here. That should work okay. We'll keep it vertical. It's okay either way, however you want to look at it. And if you look right here, you'll see we're going to be coming out in this direction. Kind of fools people sometimes. Now, I could just leave it like it is. I'm going to click here, lock it in, and come up. Like so. That was my first entity. It needs three. So I'm going to go vertical line and then center arc again. Like so. If you have different sizes here, I didn't do a very good job with this one here because I did not put this tangent. So how would I fix that? I could click on the tangency and make these two tangent and then make sure there's only one dimension because these two are supposed to be equal, these two radiuses. If yours are not equal, you can click on equal. But make sure this is tangent right here. And I did actually make a mistake. I'm not supposed to stop it here. So let me delete this one out. Sometimes it's just easier to hit your delete key. And we'll go with the arc again. Come all the way around like so. All right. And again, you can see I'm not equal. So if we say these two are supposed to be equal. It doesn't like us. And that's because I didn't have a tangency here. Again, my sketching is kind of poor. So I'll go into tangency again and make sure these are tangent. OK. And that fixed everything. So you don't have to re-sketch it. You just have to make sure your constraints are what you want. And we won't worry about uh, the actual shape. The size is not that important right now. But again, you want to be able to have your starting point properly selected and go into your section and here again we can project loop click on here close it okay and we should get our hook now we want to make a pointed end on here so we're going to remove material again, sketch on this, sketch view, and we need a few references. So so I use the edge and the reference here for the uh, end. And what I want to do here is I'm going to put in a point lock it into that position. So there's a point right in here. Go back into my 2D. And one line, again, you might want to try to control the line in some way that it will always pass through, but not all the way through over to here, obviously. Click OK. Subtraction for moving the material, but we're going to go 
symmetric is one way to do it, or you can do through all on both sides. Either way, I think symmetric uh, through all would probably be more appropriate. And that's our ground end. So we have a helical sweep, we've got a regular sweep, and another sweep. Now on the opposite end, it's the exact same thing. Confuses people a little bit though, because they're trying. Everybody tries to offset a datum plane so that it goes right in the middle of this wire diameter. But you don't have to do that. So I'll go back. And let's bring this back all the way out. So this is the one in question, first sweep. I'll edit the definition of that. And we'll go into the trajectory. And here's the funny thing for everybody. Why is it down here? Well, we're sketching on the same datum plane as we did before. The section itself is going to be attached to here on the wire diameter. Basically, what you're doing is you're just telling it, I want to go in a certain direction. Actually, this should have had the starting point down here. Yes, me. But it seemed to still work for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. See, even I got confused. This is controlling the section that's going to be up here. So this is the starting point. And again, it looks a little odd because it looks like it's starting down here in this exact same thing, but that's not what it's doing. It's just saying, use this as a directional, nothing else. Use it as a direction for the section to be propagated, moved along there, but not on that trajectory. In other words, it's kind of like you're pointing towards something and somebody's standing parallel to you and you point to something and you both walk parallel. So you're, he, you're controlling their movement. And that's what this is. It's movement control, nothing else. I'm going to here and you can see from here, it, it doesn't confuse you because you can see it's starting here and it's going around. And let's go into the section. And you can see the section, again, is the exact same thing as before. We're just grabbing that end portion, nothing else. So again, it's a little confusing to some people, but it does work. It doesn't have to be, this datum plane does not have to be going through somehow finding the center of this. That's not important. You can use the existing one. And you're going to put on the same type of loop here for the hook. And you're going to also cut it at an angle at the end here. And then save this part. We're going to go back to the other part and put some annotation features on it next.